Uh, Will, uh, you have in front of you uh, the project report uh, and some existing industry information, so I'll just uh, cover that with you, please. Uh, just to pick up on a few things that uh, Ms. Duke said about Express Scripts, we're really excited about that project for a number of reasons, but this really was a true partnership between the local business community, the city, the county, because as I think back to that first site selection team visit we had, we filled this room with people that came to, to talk about our community and what our community had to offer. And it really made a big difference in helping bring that project here. A lot of work has been done. Uh, we are now in the final stages of preparing for the first training class that will be done at the Georgia Department of Labor Center. Offers for hires have gone out to about 32 folks. They are being going through their final vetting process for training. That training will start the first week of June. We're going through the file preparation for the classroom spaces, wiring the workstations, and those things now. Uh, and I would want to say also that uh, Mr. Frank Betancourt and the Georgia DOL team have really stepped up to help us move forward with this project. So it is a great project for, for our community. We'll look through some of the other projects here. Um, you know, we've got some very good renewable sustainable energy projects that are working under the Aegis of the Georgia Power Advanced Solar Initiative. Uh, we, uh, we have an award of some contracts to move forward. One, which is a public-private partnership with the city of Aldaska, with what looks today, when I talk to uh, Hannah Solar, to be a 1.2 to 1.5 megawatt solar photovoltaic facility that will be constructed adjacent to the Mud Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant. I would also want you to know that uh, earlier this week, uh, yesterday in fact, we received a proposal from a very large nationally recognized renewable sustainable energy company uh, to put a 20 megawatt facility here in Lowndes County. They put a contract on 147 acres of land they are now preparing their uh, package to go forward through the Georgia Power Company for the Georgia Power Advanced Solar Initiative. So that's a good, uh, two good large solar projects. And we also have a couple of smaller projects that are working with private industry. So those uh, we're also excited about. Um, we are continuing to work with a uh, large national uh, nationally established alternative fuels company that's seeking a location for a commercial vehicle refueling operation uh, for natural gas and, and uh, we've got a couple of sites that uh, have been identified they're continuing to do their due diligence uh, and we're moving forward with some negotiations on those sites uh, we are continuing to make project uh, progress with a uh, a local uh, South Georgia based company seeking a location for a produce logistics distribution facility that's a refrigeration facility uh, the company's in some final due diligence now with costing of the project also uh, in some final due diligence with a specialty construction company uh, to get the uh, pricing for the project sized exactly right so that's that's moving along uh, very nicely um, We've uh, begun work in the last three weeks with a Georgia Department of Economic Development sponsored project that's uh, looking to establish a manufacturing facility in the southeast U.S. for the manufacture of personal hygiene products. Uh, we're in competition with three communities in the state. We've identified two potential locations in our community. They selected one of those as the key for our community and we're continuing to work uh, through due diligence with the company, looking at their financial records and looking at what could be the potential scope for economic development incentives for those. So, uh, so that project is working, uh, working very nicely. Uh, with regards to uh, existing industry, uh, Ms. Duke mentioned that uh, we worked together uh, last month on four existing industry visits uh, you can see what those are uh, in front of you. Um, Home Depot, Dillard's, Alpha Protect, and Air Methods. Uh, I mentioned that in each one of those visits, we identify opportunities that, where we can work with the businesses, and you can see what some of those are. You know that uh, we're very happy to be, uh, to be able to report that uh, Home Depot Regional Distribution Center 
has just completed a, uh, an aggressive hiring process for about 175 to 200 new employees. They're going, uh, they're finishing up that process now. We're looking for some things that we can do with them to help them expedite that process when they next hire. Is that a combination of drivers and warehouse? Vehicles? That's warehouse folks. Okay. It was warehouse folks. Um, we, they also ask us if, if we would uh, work with some local educational uh, institutions and see if we could maybe uh, put on the table developing a, a local uh, training program for initial entry folks if they're looking to recruit high, and also for some seasoned supervisor or managerial professionals that they could bring in. So Ms. Duke and I are going to explore that with the YGRAF Georgia Tech and with Valdosta State and with the military and see how we could go forward there. Uh, we found some opportunities with uh, dealers for OSHA training. They typically do some OSHA training every 18 months or so. So we're working on that. Ms. Duke is working on that this summer. Um, we're, we're excited about uh, an opportunity for about four of our existing entities to participate in a Georgia trade mission to China later this year. One of those companies we visited, Alpha Protect, they're very interested in participating in that. And I think you all saw in the Valdosta Daily Times an opening for air methods. And so we took the opportunity for a welcome visit a couple of times with them just to make sure that uh, they were getting what they needed to locate in the community and anything that we could do to help them. Uh, finally, you can see the industrial park acreage update there listed for you. No changes uh, from last month's report. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Did you do any dialogue with uh, the roadway in the sense that I just had a fellowship going down, going down there, but it's activity on depot picking up. Right. You know, I was just wondering. We, we do, uh, they're on our existing industry visit schedule. Uh, we plan to visit with them next month. We've had an ongoing dialogue with them as they resize looking at what some of their opportunities might be. So we are, we're staying pretty close to them, Mr. Bell. Well, to the staff, you, Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ms. Short, Schreiber, uh, the projects and the prospects seem to be on a steadily increase. Uh, we really appreciate your efforts in that regard, particularly with regard to the Home Depot, the opportunities there. Uh, you guys have done a terrific job in very challenging times. But probably equally important is the fact that you spent the last year and a half positioning this community for such projects. So, thank then you. I was going to say, and some other good news is um, we worked on a project back in January, sure. um, and we have been shortlisted as one of two sites in the state, mm -hmm. um, and have started negotiating with that project, and that's Project Maroon. Uh, so we will keep you posted as to that goes. We received that information today. Thank you so much. We'll proceed on.